Clintons. California Congressman Kevin McCarthy is the House Majority Whip, and he joins us now. Congressman, good morning. Good to have you with us good, today. Good morning. Thanks for having me. What's your reaction to this new report from CMS today? Well, it's, it's more damage for the middle class. I mean, 11 million workers out there are now going to have their premiums go up. That's going to harm not only what their take-home pay is, because I'm sure they'll be passed on, but more importantly, it's going to harm the economy. The number one way to see if your economy is moving is through small business. How can they hire more when their premiums continue to rise? And here's a report that was supposed to be done more than two years ago, released just last Friday at 2 o'clock, and it's more damaging to what we've said before, of what Obamacare is doing to this economy. Well, the administration would probably counter that it will go down for some people. About 35 percent of those who work in small businesses will see their premiums go down, according to this CMS report as well. Well, I'm sure the administration will look at different ways. They, they looked at the last report that said 2.6 million equivalent out of the workforce, and somehow that was good news. You know, the National Small Business Administration just took a poll of the small businesses. 96% of them say their premiums have gone up. On average, it was $590 in 2009. Now it's more than $1,100 in 2014, almost doubled in the process. You know, I, I keep wondering about this number, the $2,500 that uh, the administration said, you know, a lot of families would experience a savings of $2,500. And I, I'm, I'm having a hard time figuring out who would fall into that category. Well, we'll sit and look what, what the administration or what the president actually said before and why he was selling the health care. That one, he told you, if you had your health care, you liked it, you could keep it. We know now that's not true. He said that it would actually lower premiums. We find report after report from 2.6 2, uh, million people equivalent losing their job and now 11 million getting their premium raised. And then he said it would deal with the uninsured. And CBO says that after 10 years of Obamacare, there'll still be 30 million uninsured. That is why this system will not work. You have to start and put a new health care system that actually deals with the patient-doctor relationship, not government. Yeah, you point to a, a very interesting number. I think we started this whole process, and correct me if I'm wrong, with about 48 million uninsured, correct? Yes. And, and, and the, the CBO report has shown that, or the CMS report rather, has shown that after 10 years, you're still going to have about 30 to 31 million people who are uninsured, who don't have insurance, more than 30 million people, correct? Correct. And how many stories do you have out there today that their health care costs have gone up, that they had health care that they liked, now they can't keep it, and they're not getting, it's not solving the problem. That's why we have fought so hard to create a health care system that the patient is empowered, not government. Well, you know, I mean, the administration will continue to, you know, roll out individuals who say, look, this has helped me. I didn't have coverage before, and now I have it. Or I'm living at home with my parents. I didn't have insurance now, and now I have it. Um, and, you know, HHS says that, that actually the costs are, go are rising more slowly now than they have in a very long time. So those are the arguments on their side. It seems to me, though, when it comes to the elections in November, the midterm elections, uh, people are going to sort of be the final arbiter of whether or not more people are in a better situation or more people are, are worse off. Well, here's 11 million more people that are going to have their premiums raised because of Obamacare. I think they'll send a very clear message. And what's, what's unfortunate here is that Republicans had a plan that lowered the premiums when you scored it, actually dealt with the uninsured, dealt with those who are under the age of 26, and, and dealt with pre-existing conditions. So yes, those things you want to trumpet, we dealt with. They were Republican ideas. But more importantly, the Republican idea gave greater choice, empowered the individual, and lowered the cost. But here another report comes through that Obamacare raised it, the premium on 11 million more people in small business. And that is the biggest driver of the economy. That's why we're in our fourth year of a recovery. This is the longest recovery ever based upon these policies from the administration. You know, I, I think a lot of people listen to that back and forth and say, you know, yes, you say that Republicans have had plans and they've come up with ideas. They've been shot down, obviously. You know, but where does that leave an American who says, look, I, I signed up for this and I don't like it, or I voted for someone who uh, put it in place and, I, and I'm not happy with it? They're, they're essentially stuck, are they not? Right now, the, from what the administration is trying to do is continue to raise the cost on them. But in the House, we are not doing that. We continue. You'll find that we have many plans, ideas for health care reform right here in the House. We will move them through. But unfortunately, we have moved more than 160 different bills from job creation and others, and it just sits in the Senate. 
Last time Reid even gave a Republican just an amendment offer was back in June. I think he's only done two since then. We need to open this government up, let debate flow, and let the best idea win. Right now we're being stifled inside the Senate. We have an administration that only produces reports two years late on a Friday because they don't want the press to see it. Let the facts lay out there and see what the American people want. Do they want to be in control of their own health care? And do they want costs to go down? And do they want economy to grow? I think we've got very strong ideas to make that happen. We will see. Uh, thank you so much, Congressman McCarthy. Good to see you as always. Thanks for having me.